Hey, welcome back, everybody. So you know her from big movies like Psycho, Six Days, Seven Nights, and I Know What You Did Last Summer. She's an actor, she's a director, she's a screenwriter, and she's got a new movie out. It's called 13 Minutes. Please welcome to the show the one and only Anne Hayes. Oh. Hi, Anne. Thank you for that introduction. So let's get into this film, 13 Minutes. It's about a massive tornado that hits a small town, but it's also about the local residents and how they come together to sort of face this, what is a terrifying disaster. Is that what's at the heart of this movie? Well, I, I think we're all we're all facing a disaster, so metaphorically, <laughs> that's part of uh, what, the, what the movie is about. But I think she did a very unique thing in making the individuals the focus of it, even though it's an extraordinary, obvious disaster movie. Uh, getting to the heart of the people, I think, is important, and, and Lindsay did such a good job. So you play a conservative generational farmer with a closeted gay son. I'm guessing parts of this role, maybe just parts, a bit of a stretch for you in some ways. So how do you prepare for this character precisely? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, what, I, there, you broke up there for a minute, what? Yeah, how do you prepare, listen, you, so we're just telling everybody what your role is because you are a yeah. generational farmer, closeted gay son. How do you prepare for that kind of role? Well, I mean, I think I wanted to do it when I when, when I started this crusade 20 years ago. Um, love was what was at the center of it. And this, whether you're on one side or the other, there is a healing that needs to happen with all of, all of our children who want to be anything they want to be. And unfortunately, we still need to tell that story because it hasn't ended yet. So taking that challenge on is for people to be able to absorb what it looks like from the other side. I have to do that with all the characters I play. Mm -hmm. everyone, has, everyone has one responsibility, and it's really to take care of our children. Mm. So let's talk tornadoes, because I think it's something that most people don't think about very often, <laughs> every day, even though they can be absolutely devastating. And, and the movie gets into that a bit. How much did you know about tornadoes before starting this film? And what was, what was the most surprising thing you learned about them? Wow, I don't. I don't know that I studied tornadoes very much uh, before this. I, I like everybody else. Love a, love that big event and special effects and everything. Um, what did I learn? The second you hear that it may be coming, get out of the way. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> don't wait. Don't wait. Okay. Short and concise and to the point. Uh, listen, so much of you know, really on top of all the work that you, you continue to do, you have a really really fun podcast as well. It's called Better Together with Anne yes. and Heather. Love, love, love. Um, in a recent episode, your friend Heather talked about how she feels that, uh, this is you know, from her perspective, that you became, as she puts it, cancel culture's patient zero. That's what she said when you and Ellen <laughs> broke up back in the year 2000. Was it in the year 2000? I, I was, I think I was the first. You know, I mean, listen, it, that's 21 years ago. D does you, do you kind of agree with her that that's how it maybe feels like now? I do. I, when I, I mean, first of all, Heather gives me a lot of clarity, and that's exactly why we're partners and uh, partners in crime. Um, this. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. Something is shaking. It feels like we're having an earthquake. Oh wow! I hope you're okay. Do you feel okay? I can feel. We are live. Oh my goodness. Well, you guys, okay. I'm so sorry. There's, they are they're doing construction on the roof of my building. Oh my and it just shook all the way down to the studio. And I thought that I seriously thought another volcano movie was going to happen. And I was, <laughs> oh the, the, my gosh, Anne, we're just delighted Ooh. that you're okay. Slept <laughs> away. Oh my goodness, that is so funny. Yeah, let's ask the question again. Okay, hold on. Everyone not having an earthquake, everything's safe. Let's do a <laughs> reset. Um, okay, what was the question again, Melissa? Oh, wait, I remember, Anne. <laughs> I remember, Anne. Uh, it's my little track of time. No, it's okay. Cancel <laughs> cultures, patient zero after your breakup with Ellen in the year 2000. Do you yeah. feel that that I, is, in yeah. fact, the case? I uncanceled myself. You uncanceled yourself. What does that mean? I mean, I figured, well, I was, I was canceled, and then I uncanceled myself. I'm not canceled anymore, and I don't think I can be canceled again. Loves it, loves you know what it. I mean? I mean, listen, if, if we stop the story, if we don't talk about what's going on, if people don't tell the truth, then we don't learn anything. We can't have any conversation. That's what happened 20 years ago. Nobody asked the questions. Mm -hmm. So what's happening when we're canceling people is that we're 
excuse me, denying the opportunity to get to know and learn from them. Right, and, right. And, 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 then, and then what? How, how does that further us? So that's part of the fun of being able to do this movie because now people are asking me about what happened 20 years ago. Mm. So we can set the record straight. Don't cancel people. Ask people what they're doing and how we can help each other because it's the only way that anybody is going to survive. It's absolutely true. So you also talk about your dating life on this podcast and how you're exploring some online dating apps. And there's a funny story <laughs> involving Chris Rock. What? Can you share it with us? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, there's a dating app where you can't just flip through all of the, all of the contestants. <laughs> they kind of pop up on your screen. And then you can, like, heart them or whatever. And if they heart you back, then you're a match, right? As if. So Chris Rock popped up on my screen. And of course I heard him, but you can also do an extra special thing, an instant message or whatever the heck word terms are. Right. So I had just seen his latest movie and was so blown away by him that I called him, that I t spent $3 and gave him a message that said, but you, I mean, seriously, you rock. I mean, I just had to tell you how great for this dating app for me to be able to express something to you because I had been a fan for so long. And then I was in New York for Fashion Week, and my friend took me out to dinner, and he was in the restaurant. I went down to the restroom, and he came down. He was coming down the steps, and I'm like, no way. <laughs> you didn't Raya me. You canceled my Raya. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, Chris, well, you don't want to date with Anne H? And he goes, wait, you're Anne H? <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm dumping my last question, because this is too juicy. So he never Chris, responded. No, he never talking to. He didn't know it was you, like, the Anne Heche? Yeah, admittedly, I looked pretty hot that night. We were, we were at Fashion Week, and I had, I had constructed a, a, this gorgeous kind of bustier out of, like, leather and Heather's, like, wonderful Indian belt that she wore the night before. And I was wearing a mini skirt. I swear to God, there are moments when you want to look good, and there are moments you do not want to be recognized because of it. And that was one of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what was the ending of the story? Nobody asked anybody yeah. out, went out on a date? What? So no date, Anne? So he didn't ask me again. He didn't ask me out on a date. I can't, I mean, what? I don't know. I, this dating thing. Uh, maybe it's about making friends. Who, who, who needs anybody? Who needs anybody? <laughs> okay, lastly, we cannot end this. Listen, we're talking to you. Luckily, technology allows us to be together in this way because the pandemic is still happening. So you have I looked... Forever. Will, will we ever be uncancelled from not being in the same room with each other doing interviews? No, we have I faith. Miss... We have faith. But I yes. want to know what you've been doing to take care of yourself over this pandemic. Uh, you know, because we're slowly coming out of it, but what have you been doing to take care of yourself? Because the Anne Heche system, we see you on social media, Anne. Ooh. It seems to be clearly well, working. Well, What's well, happening well, here? I'm what is this? I to really get together and do stuff. I have, a, I, have a, I have a podcast. I just finished writing my second book. We have to give to one another in a way that is different than we've done before. And that means getting ourselves up out of the division that we've been are in and join each other to, to do whatever we want to do. Nobody needs to serve another or anything else. Just be neighbors and take care of each other. Yes, amen. It's not complicated, but it is an agreement that you have to make. Which side are you on? Do you want to take care of the planet and help people further? Or would you like not to? And if you don't want to, go live in Texas where they put abortion off the, off the legal status because... They're, they want to move backwards. We either want to move backwards or we want to move forward. Yep. And now we have an opportunity to do it because the door opened to all of us who suffered through an incredible, horrific yeah. idea that a disease could spread and kill us yeah. all. Wow. What a thing to look at and go, I'd like to heal from that. Yeah. And that's what we are. We have the choice. We have the choice. And uh, listen, I wish we had an hour with you because you're a lot of fun. Uh, that's all the time we have, as they say in television, Anne. Uh, so thank you so much for joining us. We are so glad there is no earthquake. But we do want to remind people there is a tornado coming, meaning 13 minutes. That is your film. That's right. It is your film, 13 minutes. It's in theaters now. It's also available on digital and on demand this Friday, ladies and gentlemen, and hey, we'll be back right after this. It's so fun.